If you have the M Performance exhaust for a BMW or Mini Cooper, I want to show you a couple things to check if your remote stops working. One, change the battery in the remote, but if you click it and it flashes twice and doesn't do anything, that means that it is disconnected, it's lost connection. What happened in my case is the actual module, which in the M2 is in the trunk underneath the carpeting. The module, you can see the red status light blinking. There was no red status light at all. So what had happened is the fuse actually blew. And in the M2, the fuses are right here. So this 15 amp fuse right there, that third one down, the one between the five and the 10, that one blew. So I popped it out. I saw that the fuse was blown and I replaced it. Then we had power to this module. You have to make sure that it is in the on position. So if it's off, set to the right side, it is not gonna work at all. So in case something bumped this, make sure it's turned on. And then to reset it, what you do is you start the car, then you hold down this reset button in this little hole here for 10 seconds. Then you turn off the car, the engine, not just the car, the engine. Then you're gonna turn it on again. Then you're gonna hold down for two seconds. And then what you're gonna do is double tap the button on your controller, your exhaust fob. When you click it, it's going to reconnect to the module. And as you can see, when I tap my remote now, it will open the valves. So double click. You can see it's a solid red light. So solid red light means valves closed. Double tap and it will go to valves open and then it starts flashing here. So that is a quick sort of troubleshooting guide for the F87 M2 M Performance exhaust and the controller. So that is how you reconnect. And then as you can see, my valves open and close when I hit the button. Close. Open. Hope that helps. And uh, that is a car chemistry silencer.